five. Let's see one of the gate question which was asked in the year two thousand eight. Consider the following C program that attempts to locate an element x and in the array called y using binary search operation. Meaning that we have to follow the approach of binary search in order to find an element in the array y. What element do we need to find? We need to find an element x. Okay, and the program is erroneous meaning that the given algorithm or the given program what they have given they are saying that is going to produce certain error for certain kind of cases okay and which of the following contents of y and x does the program fail? meaning that here they have given the four options among those four options your program is going to be erroneous for one kind of input so you have to select an option which this program is going to fail okay so there is no hard and fast rule you have to go with uh, the direct process like we have to substitute with the actual values okay let us try to check with first option so this function is taking y as an array as input and x value as an input right so let us try to take the first option first option with the values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 guys you know index posts are going to start with uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay and this is the array they are passing here and they are trying to give certain value as x right that x value range is is less than 10 guys so meaning that it we can take any value which is of less than 10 i am assuming that my x value is 9 i am assuming that x value is 9 it can be any value ma we have to check whether for this x value 9 whether this program is going to valid or not we have to check okay fine this is y array y array and they have declared variables like i and variables like j and another variable called k guys this program or this question is very simple for you when you know the algorithm called binary search okay how the binary search for algorithm is going to work basically we have a uh, sequence of elements are there out of all those element now to find searching first it is going to find out the middle element index portion index portion if that middle element index portion is equal to the actual value then it is okay otherwise it will move to the it will try to find out whether it is print on the left side or whether it is print on the right side based upon this principle binary search will work so the same algorithm they have replicated here but they are saying that this is error prone so we have to cross check it so now they initialized i value with 0 j value with 9 k value not initialized and here we have taken one do while loop okay so they are trying to compute k value k value is i plus j by 2 i plus j by 2 means 0 plus 9 by 2 that is 4.5 will get as it is integer k value is 4 now okay once the k value is 4 they are trying to check for e is y of k meaning that y of 4 is less than what is the value of x 9 y of 4 is what y of 4 is 5 is 5 less than 9 yes then i value they are going to modify it to k meaning that 4 so my i value will be modified to 4 so this success block is true so this block is going to be executed if it is failed this block is going to be executed as first block is successful so i value will be k then immediately while loop is started is y of k y of k means what 5 not equal to x am i right 5 not equal to 9 and i value less than j i value is what 4 less than 9 condition is true condition is true so when this condition is true again it is going to be iterated once again now it is trying to compute the k value k value is once again i plus j by 2 that is 4 plus 9 by 2 13 by 2 is k value is now 6 k value is now 6 now y of 6 less than 9 so 7 is less than 9 condition is true so i value is updated to k when i value is updated to k k value is 6 k value 6 now again while loop 
meaning that 7 le 7 not equal to 9 and 6 less than 9 yes condition is true again it is going to be iterated it is going to be iterated okay fine when it is going to be iterated again it is going to compare the k value that is 6 plus 9 by 2 6 plus 9 by 2 is 15 by 2 that is 7 that is 7 now y of 7 is less than 9 y of 7 is 8 8 less than 9 yes okay when 8 less than 9 i value is modified to k so that is 6 modified to 8 sorry 6 modified to k value is 7 right 7 now while so 8 not equal to 9 and 7 less than 9 this condition is true so again it is going to be iterated right now once again it is going to compute the k value that is 7 plus 9 by 2 that is 15 by 2 that is 8 now it is going to check for is y of 8 less than 9 y of 8 is 9 9 less than 9 condition fail when condition fail j value will be modified j value modified to which value k value that is 8 that is 8 now it is going to check y of k is y of k is what 9 not equal to 9 is 9 not equal to 9 no condition is fail when first condition is fail obviously this is going to terminate and it is going to come out of the block and it is going to check for is y of k double equal to x y of k means what y of 8 k is 8 right so y of k is y of 8 is 9 double equal to what is x value 9 9 double equal to 9 so x is present in the array are you going to produce the value or not yes meaning that for the option a i have taken here maximum bound guys when you take when you are having any kind of expressions like this you, you cannot able to solve for all values of less than 10 you have to select the maximum cases where you are going to get error prone like you have to take the upper bound you have to take the lower bound you have to take some middle value like that you have to crash it so here i have taken the maximum upper bound value that is 9 so for maximum upper bound value 9 the program is successful there is no error meaning that the algorithm is going to say whether it is present in the array or not present in the array it is going to simply define okay and we can simply understood that this is there is no error if you want you can check with the x value 0 and x value some negative value also there is no problem okay fine so what about this one uh, what about this one like option b if you take all our positive values all our positive values right as like as the option a array only but guys if you think if we are able to solve the option a option a can it will be solvable for option b also or not right x less than 10 means is it comes under x less than 1 or not yes meaning that all the values like 0 minus 1 minus 2 and so on are a part of x less than 10 or not so if you are able to successfully solve the problem of option a then solve the problem of option b so meaning that both a and b are correct already so there is no error in the option a and option b and let us check with the option d guys i will come up with option c because it is different one right option d also kind of unique set of values and it is also given certain kind of range certain kind of range right guys here we have taken the x value as odd value x value as odd value but they are specifically saying here x value as even value try to check with your solution when you take x value as 8 right which is of the range between 2 and 20 2 and 20 it is going to simply search for the value 8 present or not 8 present or not how it is going to do simply it is going to take the index value as 0 index value as 9 and it is going to compute it is going to compute its value right what is that value so it, it has computed the k value as 4 and at the index portion so this is 0 1 2 3 4 right at the index portion 4 is it matched no it is not matched right k value computed then it is going to execute this particular block right now is 10 less than the expected searching value 
No. Then the else block is going to be executed. So else block contains what? J equal to K. What is J? J value is already 9. K means what? Now J value will be 4. Meaning that now I am pointing, pointing to this part location. J value will be 4. Now it is going to simply check for this one, right? So is 10 is not equal to 8? Obviously for true. And i less than j, obviously 0 less than 4, true. So again iterated. Now 0 plus 4 by 2 is going to happen. 4 by 2 is going to happen. That is 2. So at the 2 index position, it is going to check. 2 index position is check, right? So e is 6 less than 8. Yes, condition is true. Then i value will be updated to k. i value is what? i value is already 0. Now if they are going to compute, i value will be now I value will be 2, right? Now, it is going to check for the position. Is 6 not equal to 8? Yes, condition true. And is 2 less than 4? Yes, condition is true. So, again, iterate it. So, 2 plus 4 by 2. That is 3. Index position is 3. So, now k value is 3, guys. Now, k value is 3. When k value is 3, is y of k. Meaning that uh, is 8 less than 8 condition fail when condition fail j value will be updated to k value that is 3 now is y of k meaning that is 8 not equal to 8 condition fail is 8 double equal to 8 condition is true it is going to produce x is present in the array it's going to produce x in the array. meaning that here why i have taken the even value means we already checked with the odd value i cr just cross checked with the even value so for this particular input also your program is not going to be error prone so obviously we cannot exactly define uh, option c is correct because this is of a kind of range of values right range of values so we cannot directly define so we'll try to check with option c what is going to happen observe Yes, this is very simple when you when you come across with uh, binary search algorithm. Right? So they have given the array as right? index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay. Fine. So initially i value will be 0 j value will be 9 we are going to compute the k value we are going to compute the k value k value is now 4 k value is now 4 right now y of 4 is what 2 less than what we need to compute assuming that we are trying to compute the value of x as 9 okay fine we are trying to compute the x as 9 right is 2 less than 9 yes obviously true then i equal to what i equal to that will be 4 4 and is y of 4 not equal to x obviously true and i less than j obviously true meaning that so 2 not equal to 9 and index portion 4 less than 9 true so it is going to be iterated okay so it is going to calculate once again i plus j by 2 that is 4 plus 9 13 by 2 13 by 2 is k value now 6 when k value 6 at the 6 index position the value is 2 which we, which is less than our searching value condition is true then i value will be updated to k and it is going to check for is 2 not equal to 9 and is 6 less than 9 condition is true again it is going to be iterated so now it is going to compute the k value once again 6 plus 9 that is uh, 13 by 2 13 by 2 is 6 plus 9 is 15 right 15 by 2 is 7 so k value is now 7. when k value is 7 at the 17 index position 2 2 less than and condition is true so when condition is true i value will be updated to 7 now now again 2 not equal to 9 and 7 less than 9 condition is true again it is going to be iterated now again k value is going to be computed 7 plus 9 by 2 that is 8 8 so at the 8 index position the value 2 will be there that is 2 less than 9 condition is true then i value will be updated to again 8 
now 2 not equal to 9 condition is true and 8 less than 9 condition is true now again k value completed k value completed means 8 plus 9 by 2 that is 17 by 2 17 by 2 is once again 8 only k value 8 k value 8 when k value is 8 again at the ending function 2 less than 9 okay 2 less than 9 i value will update to 8 and the condition is 2 not equal to 9 and 8 less than 9 am i right yes again uh, this condition is satisfied so it is going to be iterated okay now k value again completed 8 plus 9 by 2 that is 8 only and at the end of the index position 2 less than 9 yes then i value will update to 8 and it is going to check for whether these two cases are correct or not yes. observe here this is going to be continuous process there won't be your you will get output anywhere okay observe so k value is continuously 8 i value is continuously 8 and your program is not going to be terminated so the error prone input for the given program is uh, option c okay fine okay for this question they have given continuously ask uh, one more question that is this one right so meaning that you have to uh, correct the code so that your program is going to work for any kind of input as like as option c so that is what they asked here right consider the data given in the above question the correction need in the program to make it work properly is properly is guys if you observe simply binary search algorithm binary search algorithm we have an array of values array of values first we are going to find out the middle element we are going to find out the middle element once the middle element find if it is matched we can simply go for element form if it is not matched we are going to check for whether my x element is present on the left side of the array of the middle element or whether my element is present on the right side of the array element right if would like to find out to go for whether the left side of the array element you have to modify j value to k minus 1 actually meaning that if it is print on the left side you have to take i value 0 and j value is k minus 1 if it is print on the right side i value should be k plus 1 j value should be as usual n value this is the algorithm which you know according to binary search according to binary search okay fine so in order to make confusion for you in order to make confusion for you they have taken here this particular block if so meaning that uh, they have taken like y of k less than x meaning that it is they are trying to check for whether element present on the right side of the part or not and they made the logic miss here instead of taking i equal to k you can simply take i equal to k plus 1 and j equal to k minus 1 your program is going to work fine so guys option a is correct for this one because i have explained here clearly every step by step debugging process so i have directly selected the option a now with this option you can just trace out it you will get the answer perfect i hope you understood clearly thank you